Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Ken Shirevayach from Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology. The title of my talk is Frameless Multi-View Display Modules Employing Flat Panel Displays for a Large Screen Autocelloscopic Display. A large screen autocelloscopic display provides viewers with great impression and life-size realistic communications. What we need to achieve this purpose? We need more than 100-inch screen, glasses-free, supporting multiple viewers, easy installation and relocation, and no need of dark room. The multi projection system has been most commonly used to construct a large screen autocelloscopic display. NICT uh, con constructed, a screen, uh, constructed a system having a screen size of 200 inches. The projection length was 8.0 meters. A holographic commercialized the system having a 140 inches screen. The projection length was 5.6 degree me meters. And Samsung developed the system having a 100-inch screen. The projection length was 3.4 meters. In order to obtain a large screen size, the multi projection system requires a long projection length. Thus, a large operating space is required. The tiling, the tiling of multi view displays has been, more, has been proposed for the construction of large screen. Because each display has small screen, the tiling system does not large screen, large, a large projection length. So the tiling system, uh, system depth is much shorter than the multi projection system. Moreover, uh, this system can be configured in various ways, such as landscape, portrait, and curved screen. Therefore, it can be used in various applications. In this study, we propose the tiling of frameless multi view display modules that employ flat panel displays. This slide shows the previous tiling systems that we developed. This is the 3D pixel module that we developed. It was constructed using a 2D array of LCD panels and a 2D array of cylindrical lenses. These 3D pixel modules were two-dimensionally tiled. This is multi-view display module that we presented uh, last year at this conference. It was composed of a MEMS project array and a lenticular lens. These tiling techniques enable to eliminate gaps existing in the tiled screens. This slide explains, uh, shows an uh, aeroscopy lab system developed by Covered Squared. Conventional multi view displays using a parallax barrier were tiled. As you can see, the tiled screen has apparent vertical and horizontal gaps because each multi view display has a bezel. Now, I'll explain the proposed frameless multi view display module. Uh, the, the proposed module consists of a multi-view uh, multi flat panel display, uh, an aperture, an imaging lens, a screen lens, and a particle diffuser. Two imaging systems exist in this module. In first imaging system, the imaging lens projects the screen of the multi-view flat panel display onto the screen of the module, which consists of screen lens and vertical diffuser. When the magnification is larger than unity, a frameless screen is obtained. The imaging, the imaging system is designed, that, is designed such that the dimension of the imaging lens do not exceed the dimensions of the screen of the module. Next, I'll explain the second imaging system. The multi-view flat panel display generates multi-view viewpoints. At this position, the aperture is placed to eliminate repeated viewpoints in the horizontal direction. In second imaging system, the combination of imaging lens and the screen lens projects the viewpoints of the multi-view flat panel display onto the observation space in order to generate the viewpoints for observers. 
the particle diffuser increases the particle viewing area because the repeated, repeated viewpoints are eliminated by the aperture. The 3D image do not flip at uh, not, do not flip the at the um, boundary of the viewpoint viewing viewing area. Next, I'll explain the variating principle again using horizontal sectional view. As I mentioned, two imaging systems exist in the module. In imaging system for screen, the imaging lens projects the screen of multi view flat panel display onto the screen of the module. In imaging system for viewpoints, the combination of imaging lens and screen lens projects the viewpoints of multi view display onto the viewpoints for observers. This slide shows a vertical sectional view without aperture and the vertical diffuser. In this case, the viewing area has sufficient height. However, the off-axis aberrations cause the image degradation. With aperture, the aperture limits the vertical direction, which helps reduce the uh, image degradation due to off-axis aberrations. However, the height of the viewing area decreases. Finally, with particle diffuser, the height of the viewing area increases. When the multiple modules are tiled to obtain a large screen size, a common viewing area for all modules must be created. Three possible methods are available. Uh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, first method is to properly shift the, uh, shift the screen lens in each module. The second is to properly, lock, to properly shift the aperture in each module. The third method is to properly rotate the each module. These three methods can be used simultaneously. Now. I'll explain the design of uh, design proposed module we constructed. First, I'll explain the multi view flat panel display. The lenticular lens was designed that such were designed uh, which was attached to the LCD panel to construct the multi view flat panel display. The lens pitch was 1.482 millimeter, the slant angle was four 0.76 degrees. The focal length was 2.59 millimeters. The number of lenses was 320. We used the LCD panel with screen size of 22.2 inches and the resolution of 3840 by 2400. The constructed multi view display had 3D resolution of 320 by 200 and 144 viewpoints. Distance to viewpoints was 537 millimeter. The viewing area with this was 308 millimeter. Now I'll, I'll explain the imaging system. We use commercial Fresnel lens because a large diameters are required. As you know, Fresnel lenses do not exceed, do not possess the ideal imaging, imaging property. So, uh, so I decided to construct the imaging system to co to use uh, construct uh, by using two Fresnel lenses to decrease distortion and imaging system length. Measure the focal length of imaging Fresnel lenses was 5.592 millimeter. In the, in this imaging system, the magnification was 1.23. So the screen of the module, a screen size of the module was 27.3 inches. And the imaging system length was 1.49 meters. Next, this slide explains the viewpoint generation. We also use commercial Fresnel lens as a screen lens. Measured focal length was 991 millimeter. The viewpoint were imaged by the left imaging Fresnel lens 
to generate viewpoints. The combination of right imaging frontal lens and screen frontal lens generates the viewpoints for observers uh, with magnification was of 8.57 at a distance of 5.79 meter from the screen. Horizontal width of the viewing area at this distance was 2.64 meters. This slide explains the structure of a screen frontal lens. To realize a screen, screen, the side surfaces of screen frontal lens had two step structures. The groups, these groups were used to support the screen frontal lens by using the side plates of the module. As you can see, frame screen was achieved. This is a prototype display mo module we constructed. Specifications are shown in this table. Screen size was 27.3 inches. The 3D resolution was 320 by 200. The number of views was 144. The distance to viewpoints was 5.79 meters. The viewing area with this was 2.64 meters. The interval of viewpoints was 18 millimeter. The module length was 1.5 meter. A prototype display system with a medium sized screen was constructed using four modules, which are vertically aligned to obtain a screen size of 62.4 inches. To generate a common viewing area for all or modules, the centers of the screen lenses were shifted in vertical direction, as shown in this figure. The light figure shows the viewing area of prototype system. Multiple viewers are supported. This photograph uh, shows a developed tiled system. Human-sized 3D image can be displayed. This photograph shows a generated 3D image uh, captured from left, center, and light. Proper motion parallax was obtained. Unfortunately, the thin gaps were observed as the boundaries of the uh, boundaries between the modules. It was caused that a certain amount of rays well, amount of the rays was actually vignetted inside the modules because of aberrations. Now, let me show you some videos. As you can see, the 3D image is bright enough to be viewed in a room at daytime. Next, the 3D image of a girl. As you can see, the 3D image had a smooth motion parallax. This is the final video, the 3D image of the space shuttle. Now, I conclude my talk. In this study, the tiling of multi-view display module was proposed to construct large screen autotelescopic displays. The constructed modules had a screen size of 27.3 inches and a resolution of 320 by 200. Four modules were aligned vertically to provide a screen size of 62.4 inches for displaying a human-sized object. Thank you for your kind attention.